And then the question is, where do I even start looking for schools? There are literally thousands of schools across the nation. And I know when I started looking, I thought there was a soulmate mentality where you have to find the one perfect school for you. It's not like that at all. There are so many schools that you would do well at and your job is just to find the ones that resonate with you, that are gonna help you pursue the goals that you're excited about. Throughout your admissions process, you will probably start hearing people at the college or maybe your high school counselor saying, get in touch with your admissions officer. When I was looking at colleges, I did not even know that having an admissions officer was a thing. So the first thing is to know that we exist and we really are here to be resources for you. Every school is a little bit different, but a lot of times you will have somebody that's assigned to your high school specifically. So you have somebody that is actually your assigned admissions officer. It's kind of twofold when you start. I think on the one hand, you wanna be keeping a really open mind. You don't wanna decide anything too soon about what type of school you want to go to, where you want to go to school. But on the other hand, starting to think about um, at least right when you start, maybe having a smaller geographic area. If you live in Iowa, maybe there are five different types of schools in Iowa, and then you can kind of get uh, a different idea about what each of those is like. Visiting one small liberal arts college, visiting one large public university, maybe visiting somewhere in between, just so you really get a sense about what those different types of schools are like. From there, you can know, okay, I really felt like I, I vibed with small liberal arts colleges more, so now I'm gonna take my list in that direction. A really helpful place to start is just thinking about some big factors that differ between colleges. So the size of the college, the location, the different programs they have on campus. What is your social life gonna look like? Who goes to these colleges? Are they coming from all over the nation? Is it people from just in the immediate surrounding area? Do you want a small campus where you see some familiar faces around and everyone kind of lives in the dorms? It's very community centered. Or are you looking for more of a, a city experience where it's a large college, maybe like 40,000 people? For some people, the location matters. Are you thinking about East Coast, West Coast, South, Midwest? Does it have to be close to your home? Does weather matter for you? I know that weather matters for some people. <laughs> if you're thinking about moving to another part of the United States or another you know, part of the world, maybe you wanna to go to college near that place because likely the people that graduate from that school are gonna stay around that area. These are just some questions you can start thinking about. There are a lot of different factors that we can go into, but especially when you're trying to just get some colleges down on a piece of paper, size and location uh, can be a good place to start. I think it can be kind of hard to know actually how to get the information you need. There's so much online with third-party websites and different ranking lists and then of course you have the college website itself. The website is always a great place to start. There's going to be a lot of information. After that I think the the best thing you can do is engage with the school in some way and there are a lot of different ways you can do this uh, both with on-campus in-person visits, there's a lot, an increasing number of virtual visit opportunities. Admissions reps typically travel to high schools in the fall. Um, and I think don't be too concerned when you sign up for these opportunities. Um, like you don't have to go into it already knowing everything or knowing exactly what questions you wanna ask or exactly what you're looking for in the school. Uh, that opportunity is really for you to learn those things. And even if we're interviewing you, let's say, um, we of course wanna to get to know you, but also that's a time to ask the questions that you have. And if you don't know what questions to ask, you should always feel free asking the admissions counselor what they think you should know, or what are some questions that they get asked often that um, allow students to really start to learn all that good stuff about the college.